No one slept the night the engine breathed for the first time. In the coal black darkness of northern England, something unnatural waited on iron rails, silent, steaming, alive. Men stood back, unsure whether to step closer or run, because if this thing failed, it would fail violently. And if it worked, nothing would ever be the same. It was 1814 at Killingworth Colliery. The air smelled of coal dust and wet earth. Horses had hauled wagons here for generations, their hooves sinking into mud, their muscles breaking under endless weight. Progress moved at the pace of flesh and bone. And tonight, one man believed fire and water could do better. George Stevenson was not a gentleman inventor. He was a working engineer, his hands rough, his clothes stained with oil and soot. He knew engines not from books, but from broken parts and long nights fixing what others abandoned. And now he stood beside his creation, a steam locomotive built to pull coal, not dreams. At first it groaned, steam hissed through valves, metal shuddered, the ground trembled as pressure climbed. Some men stepped back, others laughed nervously. Machines were not meant to move on their own, not like this. Then, motion, slow at first, a hesitant roll of iron wheels against iron rails. The engine lurched forward, coughing smoke, dragging loaded wagons behind it. Every bolt screamed under strain. Every second felt like a question. Would it tear itself apart? But it didn't. It pulled harder, faster. The wheels gripped, the wagons followed. Coal, once hauled by exhausted horses, now moved by raw mechanical force. Fire boiled water, steam drove pistons, pistons turned wheels. A simple chain of logic that felt like magic when witnessed in motion. And here was the quiet revelation. This machine didn't tire. It didn't need rest. It didn't feel pain. As long as the fire burned, it would keep going. Men who had doubted fell silent. Not in awe, but in calculation. They saw longer distances, heavier loads, faster deliveries. They saw mines feeding cities, cities feeding factories, factories reshaping nations. This was no spectacle for crowds, no polished debut. It was rough, loud, and perfect. But it worked. And that was enough. In that moment, the world tilted forward. Because once steam proved it could replace muscle, there was no turning back. Rails would stretch across countries. Time itself would compress. Journeys that took days would take hours. Economies would accelerate. Empires would expand. And it all began here, on a dark track at a coal mine, where an engine first proved it could move the world. If stories like this remind you how quietly history changes everything, like the video, Share it with someone curious, subscribe for more, and tell us in the comments, what invention do you think changed humanity the most?